All right, I finally managed to get the Beagle board to work they want to with these LED panels I've been working on. Um, I have the Beagle board here. It's all powered up with a little 5-volt regulator and a 7.4-volt LiPo here in my pocket. On this proto board here I've got strapped under my belt is just some level shifting circuitry to take the 2 volts from the Beagle board's GPIO ports here into 5 volts that these panels understand to this cable here. Um, there's more going on here to help me multiplex the panels within each other so that you notice that the animation here appears to be pretty smooth but really the Beagle board's only sending an image every time it changes so the time in between the panel is actually maintaining itself thanks to this memory chip right here I've added on which conveniently was super easy to add in based on the way I'm addressing these pixels. Um, I've managed to get the web server on the Beagle board working and with the help of a try to unplug it here, USB Wi-Fi dongle the Beagle board is acting as a wireless AP to which any wireless device you have can connect to it and send it messages. Um, I'm going to cut the lights here so you can better see the light, the panels lighting up the shirt here. I'm going to take out my wireless capable device and go to the Wi-Fi settings, check out my list. On the list of available connections there should be very hard to see here, but light bright. Just click that to connect. Go out. Open up Safari. Now the idea is that any web page you attempt to go to, it will automatically redirect to the on the onboard HTTP server. With an image here, it says, um, "Have you worn the glasses?" That meaning the diffraction gridding glasses I hand out. And you're taken to right now a very rudimentary list of things you can do. I'm working on the ability to draw with your fingers on your device. It'll send messages to repeat what you've drawn on my shirts. And then a Q&A section where you can submit questions if you don't want to approach me. I plan to have a webcam on my chest, which you can also pull up and show a live image. I'm here. Go back. And I've got a couple commands here, kind of dumb, but right now it's in the line bounce mode. People may remember the Mystify screensaver, basically what it's modeled after here. There's a button here that says bitmap mode. Go ahead and click that. Right now it's going through some sprites I'd animated for it just to test to see that yes, it could be done. So I've got some classic Mario, right now it's doing a little bit of Pac Man. And up next is Space Invaders. And somebody had asked me to draw up a little swimming sperm coming up here. It'll eventually be moving all around me. Uh, my nephew saw this and said, oh, balloons, look! Yeah. What I promised was the ability to play Tetris. So I've got some rudimentary controls here. I'm going to change it to Tetris mode. So there we have a game started. I'll zoom in my buttons. I wish this would be easier to see. But as you can see, it does respond to my movements. Put it over. And it's a mirror here looking through the mirror, of course. But you get the idea. I can play Tetris. A little bit of a lag, but it's not too bad. I'm losing, of course, because I can't really see what I'm doing. So, of course, this is very useless if I'm going to be walking around. And why would I want to stand here having people playing it, right? But the idea was to just show that you can control it with a wireless device. It changes patterns. I just lost my game. And let's go back to the lines. There you go. So I'm going to add more functionality soon. Uh, I hope to have all the panels connected together to work individually with each other so I can have one huge animation 
like this going all over my body, the sperm swimming all over my body, having Pac-Man eating the power balls all around me and the ch ghosts chasing them. And that's what you all have to look forward to. Thanks.